Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So friends, in our previous video, we have discussed how to create a simple Hello World Java program with the help of Notepad and the command prompt. So now in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a same Java Hello World program with the help of Eclipse IDE. So you can download any Eclipse version from the Google. You will be getting the zip file. You have to uncompress the zip file. So once you uncompress the downloaded Eclipse zip file, you will be getting this Eclipse icon. So I need to launch this Eclipse at first. So I am just launching my Eclipse. So it is starting my Eclipse. So once it started, it will be asking me to select the workspace. I can select any workspace from my drive. So for example, let me take a new workspace or I can take the existing workspace. For example, I'm just taking a new workspace. So I will click OK. So this workspace is nothing but it's an environment. So where I can store all my projects and the codes. So once it's launched, you will come to know that we will be creating a Java project and in that project, we will be creating a package and in that package, we may create a number of Java files. All the project packages and the classes, everything will get saved in, into your workspace. So that's why my suggestion is don't select C drive as a workspace. Make sure that you are selecting other drives so that it will be safer side. You may not lose your code. It's better to select other than C drive. So once you launch your Eclipse, you may get a welcome screen like this. You can close this welcome screen. So now I will show you a demo how to create a Java program by using this Eclipse IDE. So to write a Java program in Eclipse IDE, so the very first step is I need to create a Java project. So I will click on file menu. There I have option new and here you can see I have a option project. Sometimes in your Eclipse directly you may get an option Java project. Either you can directly select a Java project. In case if you are not getting that option, you will be say you will select this project option. So it will list out all the possible projects in Eclipse. So from this, I'm going to select Java project. Yes, right now our intention is so we want to work on a Java project. I will select Java project and then I will say next. In the next window, we no need to change anything. So only thing is I have to create my or I have to specify my project name. Let me say it is my Java project. So I will specify my project name. So and then I can click finish. So it will create my project. You can see the left hand side, it is created my project. So if I explore this project, I have a folder called SRC. Inside this SRC folder, I can store all my Java files. But the recommendation is, as per the industry standard, it's better to create a package at first 
and then create a java file so package is nothing but folder it's just a directory in our windows os so in our windows os why we are using directory just to group a similar files in a single unit the same way coming to java also to group similar type of java files in a single unit i will be creating a package so how i am creating a package you can see i will be right clicking on src folder and i will say new i will say i want to create a package i can give any package name for example i am giving a package name as from dot balan dot let it be pack as per the industry standard your package name must be the small letters i am just following the uh, standard so now the once i click finish button it will create my package now you can see my package is created so like this in a single project i can create a number of packages so now once the package is created by right clicking on this package i will say i want to create a new java class file so once i selected this class option it will be asking me to enter the class name so i will say i need a java file or java class in the name of my class and i will say that in that my class i want to include main method so i will select this checkbox and then i will click finish so once i click finish you can see it is creating my java file so now the java file is created so like this inside a package you can create a number of classes if i want to create one more classes yes it is possible simply the same steps i will right clicking on the package i will say new and once again i will select class and second time i have to give some different name we has already i have created a class name as my class maybe second time i can say class 1 class 2 like that i have to give different name so finally if you want to use eclipse for java project so very first up is i have to create a project i have to create a java project at first and in each project i can have a number of packages and in each package i can create my java file so now just for show a demo i'm just making a statement to display so already we are familiar if i want to display something on the console in case of java program so we will be using a method system dot out dot print and i can say some text for example i am saying hello world and statement must end with semicolon so now my java program is ready now i want to execute my java program on my eclipse in case of command prompt to execute a java program at first or before executing a java program so we will compile our source code by using java c command but in case of eclipse the moment i will the moment i save my program it will get compiled automatically so which mean before executing my program in my eclipse i have to save my java program so then only it will get compiled automatically and it will create a dot class file as yes, we are familiar during run time i need a dot class file so when the dot class file will get generated after successful compilation so which means before executing executing a java program i have to compile and generate a dot class file so in case of command prompt 
I can compile by using Java C command. But in Eclipse, what it is, what it will do, it will get auto compiled the moment I save this file. You can look at my file, there is an asterisk symbol over here. So which means the file is not yet saved. If the file is not yet saved in the sense, it is not yet compiled. So first I will save my project. You can see I have option to save my project. I will save it. So the moment I saved, you can see there is no asterisk symbol in my file. So which means it is saved and compiled successfully. And you can look at my program. There is no red color mark. For example, let me remove this semicolon. You can see I'm getting a red color mark. So which means it is the compilation error. So finally, before executing a program in Eclipse, I have to ensure two things. One is the file does not contain any red color mark. And the second one is the file must be saved properly. So once these two done, I can execute my Java code in Eclipse. Let's see how to do that. It's very simple. So I will be right clicking on that file which I want to execute. I will say run as I have an option Java application. So this is a way to execute Java program in Eclipse. Let me execute by clicking Java application. You can see in the console it is displaying my output. Hello world. So friends, I hope you are clear how to use Eclipse IDE in case of Java development. Right. So in our next video, we will be discussing about how to pass command line argument in Eclipse. So in our previous video already we have discussed about how to pass command line argument by using command prompt. So in case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description. So please watch it. And in next video, we will be discussing the same command line argument with the help of Eclipse. So thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as I upload the new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.